Keep looking that way, bro. Yes, yes. Look, look like off to the distance like that, man. That's it great. just it feels unnatural with you there and looking that way. I feel like I should just look at the camera, right? No, look that way. Trust me, man. Just trust the process. This okay. is how we do this stuff. Okay. Right? All right. All right. All right. Episode of Police Car. Guys, today we have a very special car. I don't know if you can see it here in the background. The thing is sick. And I'm here with, well, let's go meet him. Officer, wait, how do you say your last name again? Yarborough. Yarborough. Yar Yarborough. Yarborough. Did you say Yarborough? Yarborough. Yarborough. It disappears at the end there. Yeah, it just, it just fades off. Yarborough. Yeah. Yarborough. Yarborough. Can I call you something else? Officer J. Officer J, I like that, it's a lot easier. All right, Officer J, introduce yourself. I'm a police officer with the City of Sunrise. I work in the community relations section and I'm a PIO. I also do a lot of our social media. I've been on the force for just almost 14 years and uh, I enjoy it, I love it, it's great. So you've seen the series Police Cars. In the great words of UM Police, absolutely. Absolutely. Shout out to UMPD. If you guys haven't seen our last police cars with UMPD, I'm gonna link it down below, go check it out. But that's not about them. Today is about Sunrise PD and their awesome, wait. So what do you call the car again? Please, please, please tell me you call it the Darth Vader Mobile. I could do some sick edits with that, man. I mean, it seems as though that you're well prepared for it to be named the Darth Vader Mobile. Still gonna be a no. Uh, how about the Batmobile? No, Nick. Come on, man, you even got the mask for it. Still not a good idea. What about if it's for the people? That's a good impression. But still, no. Alright. What about... Knight Rider? Knight Rider. A shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Knight Rider, man. Come on. I like it. It's catchy. Yeah. It's retro. Uh-huh. It's hot out here, though. I don't have a leather vest. Is that okay? It's alright. It's Florida. We, we can pass. Alright, now that we got Knight Rider, cool name. Yep. What do you say we give a rundown of Knight Rider herself? Here, go for it. All right, guys, let's take a look at the outside. Wait, 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 wait. Can we go get it washed? We were just on this dirt road shooting these awesome shots, but most of our city, pretty much all of it, is not dirt roads. We're out here on the western edge of it. Uh, Can we take it to the car wash? Car wash. <laughs> We take a look at the lights. Yeah, let's go to the garage. We got a little bit of dark. We can uh, show off the lights really good. Come on. Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank
Yeah. We ready? We're ready. What do we got? Well, we got the car all clean, dry, and looking fly. Woo! Before we get into the car, mm -hmm. Where are we at? Explain where we're at. Well, we're inside of the parking garage at the Sawgrass Mills Mall because we needed some shade so we could see the lights on this car. Sawgrass Mills Mall is one of the largest malls in the country. Thousands and thousands of tourists and locals coming to shop all day long. It's a great part of the city of Sunrise that uh, is a fun place to come shopping. All right. So is it time? It's time. Let's go. Working, you know, one of the places in the city, working in this big mall, we have to have a good relationship with mall security, so we always do. Uh, some of the mall security guards are also service aides within the city too, part-time service aides, so keeping it in the family, so, so it's real cool. Let me ask you, let me ask you real quick, because large mall, a lot of stuff going on. You guys do trainings in the mall after hours um, to train for basically what's going on around the world? Yeah, we do it all the time throughout the year. We train inside the mall with mall security, sometimes as role players, sometimes, you know, testing them out and then kind of how we respond together and work and kind of get experience in what some of the issues that may come up in a mall to this scale with all so, these people. So you guys are trained too? Yes. You go to the training? Yes. Awesome. Did you introduce yourself by the way? I'm Casey. Hey, what's up, Casey? Walid. Walid. All right. So, uh, can I steal him from you guys? Yeah. All right. We're You're good. Go. All right, guys. Bye. Be Thank safe. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Rundown of the car. Here we go. So back in 2015, we were in the Florida Law Enforcement Challenge, which is a, a traffic-based um, competition throughout Florida, and they look at statistics sort of like with uh, vehicle crashes, with um, uh, you know uh, vehicular homicides, uh, crashes with injuries and stuff. And for an agency and a city our size, our um, numbers were nice and low, which was good. I mean, we want our citizens and the people traveling to be safe. So we were in this competition, and uh, the teams that were in first place in every category were able to receive a key fob to a, what would be a Dodge Charger. And at the awards ceremony, our officers that were there representing uh, clicked on the key fob, and it started with our car. So we won the car. So you guys won the car. How many agencies? Uh, a lot. I don't. I'm not really sure. So, it wasn't me. All right. So the state, but but all agencies in the state of Florida. Yeah. For your size. Yeah, for our size, and then larger ones and stuff like that. What's your size? How many officers? We have 189 police officers in the city of Sunrise. All right, so fairly large city. Yeah, yeah, a nice large city, um, and uh, you know, good patrol zones and stuff like that, and a lot of good bordering agencies that we work well with. Right. So you said you have about 189 police officers. Correct. And so, how big is the population here in Sunrise? Just around 95,000 people. But with a mall in this size, and then you got just across the street the BB&T Center, which is where the Florida Panthers hockey team plays. We have huge concerts there, and then just a little further south of here, you have the state's largest corporate park that has people coming and going all day to these corporate businesses that they fill up during business hours and then they start leaving. So at different times of the day or sometimes at the same time of the day, the population in the city can spike by like 80,000 people. So you guys are well equipped and prepared and do a lot of trainings at those different venues? Yeah, we work well with those businesses, with the bb &T Center, with the arena, and then all throughout the city. And then with that population spike, traffic spikes. So it becomes very important for our traffic unit to have some of the best equipment to help with traffic coordination and then enforce traffic laws. So, let's get a rundown of the outside of the vehicle. Well, up here on the front, Push bumpers. Unlike California, with our push bumpers, we don't use them to you know, move cars out of the way and stuff like that. But sometimes if we need them, they are there. We got an awesome array of lights and stuff. You can see a good siren up in front, nice and loud. Shout out to Whalen. Not a sponsored video. So we got this sweet 
striping job, which kind of, you know, it makes it look like a regular car, but then it's actually striped like our police cars. Now, I did see this car when I was off. Yeah. I snapped a picture, tagged you guys in it, but it had a different paint job. This is a new, uh, a new paint job? Yep, yeah, new paint job, new striping. Um, that uh, law enforcement challenge that I was talking about, the grant, it was a two-year grant, so once that two-year grant expired, we were able to take off that first sweet paint job that it had, or the striping that you saw, Nick, and now we put our own branding on it, Sunrise Police Department. But it still kind of blends into the regular cars in the area, so that way people, when they don't see a police car, they think, oh, I'm gonna drive however I wanna drive. That's called ghosting. You ghosted it. So if, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in the ghosted uh, print, there is the City of Sunrise uh, logo, or it's called the insignia, I'm, I'm assuming. And then uh, you got Sunrise Police there. And that's all reflective at night. So when your lights hit it, you'll be able to see it, correct? Correct. The back, we have the back deck lighting with multiple different types of colors. You got your yellows, your blues. Uh, yellows are good in case it's not as much of an emergency. You turn down those blues, you just do yellow. It's good and visible at night and stuff like that so the public can see it. The ones wig wagging down there by the, uh, by the license plate. I don't, I don't want you to get offended, but your car has a nice rear. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got a good back end. To RT, as we already mentioned, to Hemi. So it's got a little, it's got a little bit of horses in there, huh? It's got some ponies. It's got some ponies. Hey, uh, real quick, what does it take to drive one of these cars? Well, you just go to that website, mm -hmm. sunrisepolice.org, yeah. and you look in the human resources section, right. and we've got open spots all the time. We're hiring right now. Wait, you guys are hiring? We're hiring. What? Guys, you want to drive one of these cars? Sunrise PD is hiring. All right, so awesome, sweet outside. Hey, what size rims are those? Twenties. Oh, you guys are rolling on deuces. Twenties. Oh, look at those rims, guys. Woo! Nice and shiny. They are pretty. So, outside on point. Can we take a look at the inside? Let's go. Let's go. So, since it's uh, kind of dark in here and it's black on black on black we are going to move it over a little bit towards the light so we can light up the interior a little bit so we can look at the inside it's all about lighting guys it's all about lighting all right so why don't you run down the uh hold on hold on, hold on. i forgot something the b-roll the b-roll Got it. All right. Let's run down the inside. Officer Jay, show me the way. So, as with most patrol vehicles, we have our computer. Oh. We, oops, sorry. Touched it the wrong the way. Sound effects. You make your own sound effects. It's a <laughs> Panasonic tough pad, so uh. it comes out. You can take this outside, write the tickets if you need to. They Bluetooth into a printer that's on the floor down by your feet. Right? That's right, air. So, the, the tablet goes back in here. And then boom, right back to being a desktop. Oh, and it connects to the keyboard. Yep, Bluetooth keyboard, fake typing. Fake typing, fake typing, ASD, JK, so, so semicolon, semicolon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. ASDF. Right. So then uh, in here, it's a traffic vehicle. So of course, it's gotta have your moving radar ready and set up for uh, for driving and running radar at the same time. What's the model number? It's a stalker. I don't know the model number uh, because I'm not a traffic officer, even though I might be certified in radar. Wait, what? Yeah, you told me you needed a cool car. My car's just a Ford Explorer. This is a cool car. Yeah. So I went and I you delivered. grabbed a key off the key rack. Wait a minute, he doesn't know you took it? Uh, no, he's out on a motorcycle today. He might write my mom a ticket. Well, I don't know. He's definitely gonna be watching this. Yeah. You're, you're done. Yeah. So it has its normal control pad with your rear, all your lights, and then your pursuit where it makes the woo woo sirens. Wait, wait, how does it go again? Woo woo. I'm assuming this would be, on ours, it would be this would be a one, that would be a two, and this right here, woo woo woo. 
it would be a three. Woo woo. Three. Should, you should change that to W O O W O O. <laughs> now I notice you don't have a. Wait, you do have a cage. Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. It's that's a half cage. So explain, man. Half a cage. What gives? Sometimes an officer's a little taller, needs a little more leg room. So with these cages, it usually keeps us up pretty close to the steering wheel. So a half a cage makes it a little bit better. So when you have a single prisoner, then you still got room to, you know, lean back a little bit so you can drive a little more comfortably. And then also put some gear back there. This car is primarily uh, at night used for like DUIs and stuff like that. Hopefully you're only arresting one driver at a time. Yeah. So you can fit them back here in this single compartment. Unless it's one of those student driver cars where there's two wheels and they're both intoxicated. I don't think that's gonna happen, Nick. Yeah, I don't think so either. All right, show us the back seat here. Which side is which? Okay, obviously this is the side. You're on the driver's side. I'm on the driver's side, which is not, has nothing here. Yep. But this side over there, this would be where the prisoner goes. We have the plastic seats, the plexiglass here, and the plexiglass here. The plastic seats are good because, you know, if somebody's intoxicated, they may get sick. Yep. So it helps us for cleaning out the vehicle in case somebody does get sick in here. Um, they get seat belted in, and off they go. Off they go. All right, what about the junk in the trunk? All right, guys, here's what you've been waiting for, the junk in the trunk. The junk in the trunk. All right. Very important, fire extinguisher in case of fires, latex examination gloves, police caution tape, traffic jacket and traffic vest. I, I have one of these. Also weatherproof. Yes, good for rain, which happens in the state of Florida. Yeah, quite often. I think you guys have seen this before. There are discs for throwing out into the water, has a rope to pull yeah. in anybody that might be drowning. AKA life preserver. Yep. A little bit of a uh, parking marker so they can mark off the area when they're doing traffic reconstruction for fatalities. That's what I was going to ask you. So not only do they enforce traffic, but they're also an investigative unit? Yeah, they're an investigative unit. Very much like detectives, they do investigations, follow-ups, and they close out cases and they go to court. Just like a detective might, uh, but for traffic-related incidences, crashes, crashes with serious bodily injury. Um, here's some measuring tape. you got to measure out the scene. More measuring tape, traffic direction wands, all your traffic statutes and laws. There's a lot of them in the state of Florida. Yeah, that, that thing looks like a wizard's book. Expediamus. It's a spell book. Yeah, I see that. Expediamus. Yeah, Expediamus. Expedi. Expediamus, you like that? Because it's a traffic cop. Speed up. Oh. Oh, I kill myself. <laughs> what are those? Evidence bags for picking up evidence and bringing it back to the station. Also doubles as a giant lunch bag. Yeah, just yeah. in case. Feel like so 50 you, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in that one. You have one. 25 <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and 50. There you go. Officer J. All right, guys. So that's the car. You wanted to see the inside, Nick? Boom. Now you've seen it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Taking the time. Uh, I know you got to get back to work and showing us the Night Rider, huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I like it. I like it. Let us know, guys, which one you like. Should it be called the Batmobile, the Darth Vader Mobile, or Darth Vader, or Darth Vader, or the Night Rider? Let us know down below in the comments which one you think will fit the best. And we're also open to any suggestions that you guys might have. So, real quick, uh, we're doing this thing now. Whenever we visit a agency, a police agency, we're doing a challenge coin giveaway. So, yeah. you got a challenge coin? As a matter of fact, I always carry a challenge coin with uh, me. Oh, you pulled out of your back pocket. Yeah. So this is our Sunrise Police Department challenge coin from a couple years ago. Still have some of these. So we'll be giving these out. So Sweet! So this is how you're gonna win one of these challenge coins. We're gonna post a trailer of this vlog on the Sunrise Police Instagram account. And what's the handle? At Sunrise Police FL. Again, one more time at Sunrise Police FL. So you're, you're not following them on Instagram, you must be following them in order to win the coin. But hey, they're putting out good content. I don't know if I've been a fan. I've been a fan of Sunrise. I've been on their Instagram and they're putting out cool content every day. It's something different. So make sure you guys go over there on Instagram again, at Sunrise Police FL. Go follow them. And when you see the video, you have to comment done on the video. Again, the word 
done. D-O-N-E, no D-U-N-N. I know some of you guys like to be funny. Oh, and you gotta be subscribed to this account and follow me, myself, on Instagram. Simple. I do. Yeah, you could, you could take care of that in like two minutes. Bam, 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 like beep, boop, pop, pop, beep, boop. Appreciate you. Yep. Appreciate you guys taking the time. Um, thank you to Chief Rosa for letting us uh, this sweet car and to the traffic unit officer that's gonna find out that we use this car. Please, man, please. It was for a good cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Mike. So what do you say, round two? We do it again? Yeah. What do you we say, not fun? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We got something that we're putting the uh, finishing toppings on and we should have something for you very soon, Nick. Awesome, so that's another Police Cars video that we're gonna add to the series. If you guys don't know, we're doing a series here on this channel, so make sure you subscribe to follow through and all the agencies that we're gonna be visiting. And one more time, you guys can drive this car because they're hiring. They're gonna have all their information up on their Instagram, so if you're over there following for the challenge coins, or if you're over there interested in becoming a Sunrise Police Officer, make sure you go over there, like them, follow them, all the information will be there. So, with that being said, do you know how to sign off on this channel? Yeah, I think I can do it. You think you can do it? Yeah. So we gotta be cool when we're doing the sign off. So let's throw on our, let's throw on our shades here. Cause that, our cool level just goes up a lot. Cops. All right. Ready? Ready. Don't forget the pause. Don't forget that little dramatic pause. Thank you. Ready? Here we go. All right guys. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, I'll see you. Mama! Thanks Officer Jack. Yeah,